Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So we are here at City Lime and Conquer. We got the Drift Cat up on the lift. We are about to make a full list of every part that I need to replace. Everything that's broken. As you can see, there's <laughs> a seat belt holding my together. So there's a lot of stuff that's broken. Let's go through everything, make a list so we can start replacing. Come on. So a little broken huh so first off let's start off on suspension and that type of stuff what looks bent what looks looks messed up suspension wise steering rack okay but that might have been bad beforehand right because mm -hmm. it was you know tough to turn and shit so steering rack first problem there's a lot of shit just covered in oil based on this one of the one of the oil coolant lines being bent up. So what do you see visually? What is what needs to be replaced? Bumper, fender, steering rack, oil cooler. So need new oil cooler. Oil cooler. Need the lines. Um, some connections for. The headlight. Yeah, so. Damn, all right. So that snapped off. I mean, it's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, the wheel well looks bent in. Probably just hammer that back, huh? The frame rail bent? A little bit. Yeah, just this prepping you. Okay. Fender, bumper, headlight, oil cooler, two lines, steering rack, fender liner, bumper support? Yeah. Sort of? No. Kind of? Kind of. Well, we're going to need one of those because it's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Lower grills. Um, At least not leaking coolant or anything like that, so it's a good, good thing. Yeah, all the oil's gone leaked all, all the oil from this cooler so it's really not as bad as i thought it was huh no. it's just gonna take a little bit to piece everything back together a real expensive puzzle but for the most part it's not terrible like this will have to get hammered back out this way What is this? Is this part of the fender liner? Yeah. Okay. This is the bumper. What was behind here? That's pretty much it? Um, yeah. Huh. All right. So. There's a couple more things. Yeah, I can't even see <laughs> what was in that place. I mean. Does it look like any of the suspension arms are bent? Mm -hmm. Just the steering rack? Yeah, it's just the steering rack. Okay, that makes but me if, happy. I don't know if it's this actually from the... From the actual steering rack or if it was just yeah, fluid splashing of, on it? Yeah, it was just fluid because look at all the, all the oil that was there. Oh, shit. You'd have to throw it on the alignment rack and once everything's puzzle pieced together. This arm is... Lower? It's, it's more like straight. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. This one is like pushed out like this, like that way. Huh. You see it? You go from the angle. Oh yeah. And then check the angle. Just went straight. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I just want to. Oh, there's a nice little spider right there. What's up, my guy? Oh. Um. But yeah, pretty much just getting a parts list together so I can go buy everything that we need. eBay. Get this thing back together. Yeah, pretty much. Find everything on eBay or offer up, co-part, something like that. And then get this thing back together because it's been almost three weeks since this thing has been down. It's been chilling at this guy's shop, <laughs> taking up a bunch of space. I know he's, he's tired of it being here, so we'll... Uh, We'll get this thing back together. I think I'm pretty sure that the 
pretty sure that the inner chiller is not damaged, thankfully. I think it's just this, you know, this housing or this insulation piece that got torn up. Um, it looks like the top grill is fine for the most part. There's just a lot of stuff to puzzle back together. Hopefully, uh, the main thing I'm worried about is something that's bent in here, but we're not going to be able to find out until we put it on that lift over there. By the way, that's uh, Vaughn's box. Shout out to my guy, Vaughn. He's getting that thing. He's going to have wires put on that soon. The dating things. But yeah. All right. That makes me happier that this isn't. It's not too bad. Yeah, I thought. I thought when it was going to be in the air, I thought hella arms were going to be bent and I was going to have to get a new coil and all type of stuff, but mainly just body stuff, huh? Yeah. Because you hit like right in the edge. Yeah, I hit the ass end of the deer. Oof. Hit the ass end of the deer and that's what hit the, the car, so we'll figure it out. We'll get it, uh get it all buttoned up once again thank you to my guys at city alignment taking care of me like usual make sure you hit them up follow them on instagram come get your uh your body work done no, i'm no. just playing no. <laughs> but all your uh, mechanical needs they'll take care of you tell them i sent you they'll plug it sorry about the compressor in the background but yeah this thing is gonna need a big detail after we get everything put back together because there's oil everywhere i'm thinking this is where the smoke was coming from when i parked the car because there was a bunch of like burnt smoke in the cabin of the car and i'm guessing it was just the oil hitting the exhaust and then obviously smoking so that makes me feel a little bit better too Okay, this, this whole endeavor made me feel a little bit better about the car. I thought it was a lot worse when I dropped it off. But, you know, we'll get the we'll get the Hellcat back and going. No worries. It'll be back soon. Still got all this rubber from the Mickey Thompsons. Never even had a chance for SR Garage to detail it before I hit the deer, which sucks. But now he's just got to a lot more shit to clean up especially all this oil all over jesus there's oil everywhere oil everywhere nothing some uh some brake cleaner and some degreaser can fix you know it'll be, it'll be good to go not as bad as i thought so i'm juiced i know he's juiced too so that means less work for him <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm on the I'm on the run. I gotta get out of here. Thank you yep. once again, brother. Appreciate you. Make sure you guys follow City Lightman on Instagram. Tell them I sent you. Tell them uh, if you say Jensen, mention the code Jensen. You get a nice little discount. So make sure you mention me when you pull up. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back with a shitload of parts. All right. So back at the house now. I did a full complete parts list. Well, mostly complete. I'm sure there's a lot of brackets and small things that I need to get that I don't know that I need yet. But I made a, a parts list of the stuff that I know I need and made a price list. So let me let me run down the, uh, the quick price list for you guys. Starting off with the steering rack. The steering rack is $1,500. And this is uh, the price of everything brand new. I'm not going to buy everything brand new. But there is some stuff that I'm going to have to buy brand new just based on the fact that some of the stuff you can't find used. So, yeah, steering rack, $1,500. The fender, $95. The fender liner, or wheel well, whatever you want to call it, $50. The headlight, $350, which I might be able to save on because I still have, I think it's a passenger side headlight, but I know a lot of the tabs are broken off of it. So I don't know if we could just, you know, create some tabs for it and throw that thing in there. If it is the passenger side, I'm not sure, I gotta look. Hopefully it is the passenger side, so that'll save me like 350 bucks. Anyway, moving on, I do need the uh, headlight ballast because 
a lot as you guys seen in the video there was something that was ripped off and it was just it had a couple live wires just dangling there um, I'm sure that was connected to the ballast um, there were still a lot of plugs and stuff hanging there too so not sure exactly everything that I'm gonna need on that end but ballast 60 bucks which is not not expensive at all luckily <laughs> and then Obviously, I'm going to need the uh, the lower grills, the main lower grill, the, the big portion, 50 bucks. The two ones that sit on the side are like $12 a piece, so I'm going to need two of those, so 24 bucks. And then the, uh, the bumper support, $50. I'm sure there's a couple more things attached to that that I'm going to need as well. Um, the bumper itself, $515, and that's without paint. So obviously all this stuff is without paint and without labor, any of that. So this is just the parts and how much they cost. Um, the, uh, the oil uh, cooler bracket, $135. The oil cooler itself is $230. And the uh, oil cooler lines are $140. So that's pretty much just visually what we can see and what I know I need. I know there's going to be a little, a bunch of little stuff that I am going to have to grab as well. But um, yeah, for that parts list, the grand total came out to around $3,200. And that's without paint, obviously, without any labor and without all the little nuts and bolts and brackets and all the little shit that I'm gonna need. So um, it's a lot, a lot, I don't wanna say cheaper, but a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be like damn near close to 10 grand or something like that. So luckily, thank, thankfully, <laughs> saying hello words, but yeah, luckily it's not as bad as I thought it was after i seen it on the lift and kind of went through everything made me feel better you know but uh yeah that's that's pretty much going to be the end of this video i just wanted to give you guys an update kind of run you guys through the whole process of what's going on with this car obviously i'm paying for everything out of pocket if you haven't seen the last video where i was complaining a bunch about my uh insurance company giving me a hard time uh yeah i'm gonna be paying for this straight out of pocket so yeah, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep you guys going throughout the whole entire process. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get some parts together. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Doses.